Hey guys, Customly Cool here, back with another video. And in today's video, we'll be reviewing the Ant Man and the Wasp uh, Quantum Realm Traveler set. Um, yeah, this is the only Ant Man and the Wasp set they made. And I'm, uh, that movie was kind of bad, so, you know. Okay, uh, so let's go to the minifigures. Uh, here we have Ant Man, who used the um uh, the very controversial, country con the controversial Ant Man helmet with the um uh, the mouthpiece, which is um opened, which shouldn't be there in the movie. So um uh, yeah, still a cool helmet though. I like the helmet design, even if it's not entirely movie accurate. Cool minifigure. Uh, probably the best in the set. Alright, uh, moving on to the Wasp. Uh, another. Not great minifigure that no one liked. The body's okay, or the torso. It is kind of, it's pretty movie accurate. But they used the fairy wings when they could have used the Galaxy Squad wings. And, you know, it just kind of pe made people mad. You know, I think they should have done that too. And then the helmet. Okay. Um, the helmet has no, no little, like, bat ears or whatever. Whatever you want to call them. The antenna ears. And, like, that they released that helmet, like, a little bit after the set got released, and it's like, bruh. But, I mean, I like the dis I like the printing on the helmet, though. It's pretty cool. And it's just a little face on the outs or on the inside. Same with Ant-Man. This little Paul Rudd face. And I'm, uh, here we have Ghost, which is the second best minifigure of the set. Actually, I don't know. It's really close to Ant-Man and being the best minifigure of the set. I really like how they designed, like, the, the face, the headpiece. For her, if you take off the, if I take off the hood, you can see it better. But it's really cool. It's got, like, that robot design or whatever that makes Ghost, or that, that makes up the look of Ghost in the movie. And on the back, she's just got her normal face, you know. And, um, uh, yeah, she's got the power blast studs, things, whatever. All right, so let's move on to the actual build. Uh, so, yeah, here's the actual build. I actually like the build, though. Like, it's got greasing and whatever. It's pretty cool. So, um, uh, let's start with the cockpit. Here we have a trophy, which is, um, which is where a man keeps his little suit or whatever. It's not size accurate, though. So, um, uh, uh yeah, we have these little arms. Which you can grab up stuff with. In this case, the trophy. And um, uh, the cockpit can open up. On the top and the sides. And it's just a little cockpit. With um, a, a, a ray or whatever. A shrinking ray. It goes back up. Uh, then we got some greaseling up here. We got like these skate pieces. Which really add to the detail. And everything. Uh, and then... We have these side thrusters right here. With their ident they're identical on each side, so I'm not going to review both of them. Yeah, you can pose those any which way you want. Pretty cool. On the back, we use barrels as a... Or on the back, they use barrels as a um, turbo thruster thing where you can, like, view. And, you know, it speeds off. Uh, on the bottom, they use one of the helicopter bottom pieces as, like, a landing pad or whatever. And, like... Got some stickers on there which decorate it. And then, yeah, the other side. And then on the front, we have some stud shooters, which, you know, they just do what studs shooters do when they shoot. But yeah, that's it for the build and the mini figures of the set. So, yeah, that's basically it. So, thanks for watching. Hope you have a customly cool day. And thank you. Bye.